Hey guys, Get Level here. And as you all know, I've been streaming more and more on YouTube lately. And since my Streamlabs account is separated from my Twitch Streamlabs account, I don't have the same alerts. So now I'm in need of new alerts for YouTube instead of Twitch. Now you may be thinking, why not use the same alerts on Twitch? I don't wanna, okay? I want more clean alerts for my YouTube live because I get uh, more interaction on YouTube than on Twitch. So this is basically what we're gonna be doing today. I want to make something very clear. This is not a tutorial. It's not a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's going to be some sort of guide, some sort of follow along. If you don't have the software that I'm going to be using today, then I'm sorry, I cannot answer your questions about any other software. So don't ask me how to do it in GIMP, how to do it in uh, Atari, how to do it on, on your Nintendo DS. I don't know. I don't know. What you see me use is the only program that I use. So please, <laughs> please, this is not a tutorial. Uh, this is very important to me. So most likely we're, gonna, we're probably going to be using Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere. Uh, if you don't own any of those programs, don't ask me questions about it. If you don't know basics and you want to know about basics, look up Adobe Premiere Basics, Adobe After Effects Basics. Learn about it. I'm, I'm not trying to teach you that in this video. Okay, now without further ado, um, I have a vague idea of what I want. Basically, I want to film a little video of me doing multiple reactions depending on what type of alert I want. And I will also be utilizing this RGB light. So there will be a different color for each alert. And um, there will be just a little animation that will pop up and it will be my face in a circle mostly. And then there will be a little spot for the the name of the person and whatever if they donated if they subscribed or anything like that all right so this is sparkle cam it's the software that i use to use my dslr as a webcam i have a video on it check it out since i'm already recording with obs i'm gonna use shadow play that is going to record my desktop and uh, we'll take images from here to do the alerts okay so in the list we're gonna think about all the actions that a viewer can take so we're gonna have subscribers we're gonna have super chat and then we're gonna have donations when it comes to merch i'm gonna keep it default because the odds of people actually buying merch while i'm live are very slim so we're not even going to stress about that so i'm pressing alt r because that's my shortcut for shadow play as you can see this is shadow play so I'm gonna click record. We're gonna use the red for the subscriber. So I'm just gonna act something and I'm gonna like react to a sub. <laughs> the noise it makes. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Um, I'm partially blind right now because I've been looking at like straight at the uh, projector. Now there are many ways to do alerts and to have them up and running on Streamlabs. What I'm going to do is create the animation and then I will either have it with a green screen so I can have transparency or I will just pre-render it pre-keyed basically with transparency. But I've had some trouble with Streamlabs in the past with transparent stuff. So we'll see, we'll see. Pro I'll probably just put a green screen in a back and then key it out in my alert box straight in Streamlabs OBS. Oh, I just realized something. <laughs> I just realized that I had green in one of the videos. So, oh my god. So, so it's going to be keyed out if I use green. I'm a dum-dum if I use a green screen. Is that my mouse? Oh my god. <laughs> my mouse is in the... F oh my god. Well, I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. Whatever. I'm such a dumb dumb. I'm keeping it. Yup. You're staying in, mouse. You got your cameo. Are you happy? Oh 
All right, okay, now we have our three video files. We could upload them to Streamlabs, to our account, because we have a little cloud space. But what I'm gonna do is convert them into WebM files. So let's go to Streamlabs first. <laughs> so we have the basic of the basic. Okay, so we have our files. We went to, let's go, MP4 to WebM. That's right, you can convert stuff straight from the internet. So all I have to do here is fine. I wonder if I can drop multiple files. Let's try. There is 46 megabytes of, um, of files right there. All right, the conversion is over. Now we can download our WebM files. So now we're gonna go back to Streamlabs. I'm gonna close. Actually, I'm not gonna close this. <laughs> Let's stay in alert box. So we're gonna go here and donation. And then here, change media. What I'm gonna do is upload everything here. Have my three WebM files. And you drag and drop. Usually it takes a little bit of time. There is no actual indication that it's uploading. So you just have to wait for them to be over and then they will appear magically, I think. There you go. <laughs> so have no fear, do not cancel. They're here. I'm gonna make sure this is going to be text over image. So at first, the text is not going to be perfectly over the image. We're gonna have to do some custom CSS to place it right. So we're gonna enable custom CSS. We're gonna save settings for now. So as you can see, the text is not where we want it to be. But we will correct that once we have it open in Streamlabs, we have all of our settings there. So we're here in Streamlabs OBS and this is my alert box. As you can see, it's actually pretty small. We're gonna test the widget. And this is what it would look like. It actually played twice because I still have the launcher here. I actually wanna have the dimensions of my videos to be the exact dimensions of my alert box so I can better place everything in it later. So let me go ahead and just right click because I forgot. So it's 1,450. So it's 1,000 by 450. Okay, now keep in mind that I could have been changing everything in here in the dashboard because it's exactly the same thing, but I don't want to go back and forth between the editor tab and the dashboard tab, knowing that it actually resets the dashboard tab every time you click on it. So. I'm gonna do everything from the website. Okay, so basically in the CSS, we're just gonna add some paddings so that we can place everything perfectly. You need to also think about the alert animation. Usually the fade in is not necessary, so we kind of none, because we have a animation in which is our bouncy, whatever it is. I forgot to save the night. You want that to be visible because we worked so hard to make it. And then it can just fade out. That's perfect. All right. So last one is going to be Super Chat. Now, usually when I stream on YouTube, I can see Super Chat before Streamlabs does the alert. So we don't need an alert that is crazy. That really requires my attention or anything. Um, I'm gonna change the message. This person donated through Super Chat. I'm gonna change it because it's too much words. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a dash. So person, amount, super chat. And, and these can also be, um, those can also be customized. Oh, I'm dumb. I don't need to put super chat because it's written on top and the alert. So we're not even going to put super chat. It's going to put the name and the amount. Oh, 
Um, I need to get out, get the fade in out of the donation one. Okay, so now it should be good. Did it fade in? <laughs> no, it didn't. Okay. So now it's so, so simple to actually add the chroma key, the green screen effect, basically to mask it out. So all I have to do here is go chroma key, click done. Technically it should already be done because key type color green. So if I do and put this here, so if I do that, it's pretty much already set up. What you can do is kind of um, play around with it to make sure the borders are smooth. Let up a little bit. But always make sure that you don't get any green showing up. It's actually like taking a little bit of transparency to the white, but that's fine because it still looks good. There we go. That's good. You still see my mouse here. <laughs> it's perfect. I'll probably take some time to make everything just fit perfectly here in donation. This is not perfectly place the size is not that good but i think we did a lot of progress there <laughs> so that took about two hours not counting the fact well counting the fact that i had to restart my computer throughout this after effects always freezes when converting from mp4 to webm my internet is so bad that it actually took a, a while but we did it we got it done and this is how i made my alert so it, if you have the question in the future or if someone asks you oh did you did you see gail's alerts refer them to this video okay <laughs> i will put some social media up there if you guys haven't started streaming yet or if you're using another program consider downloading streamlabs obs i will have an affiliate link in the description if you download and install from this link i'm getting a little bit of money and charity is also getting a little bit of money so please consider it but that is all i'm really happy we got this done and i will see you guys next time thank you so so much for watching my video Get level out.